Now I'm discussing the difference between the NPM and NPX. You must have seen even while using the React that we can use the NPM install, create React app, or you can simply say NPX create React app and the project name. So what is the difference between NPM and NPX? To understand this, I'm going to use one very simple package called Kause. The purpose of Kause is very simple. Let me first of all install it. I'm going to say npm install Kause. Now I'm going to install this globally. So I'll say hyphen G. So it is installing this Kause package. Now the purpose of Kause is like this that I say Kause and for example, hello. Then there is a cow getting displayed and it says hello, whatever message you have passed in short is displayed along with this cow image. This is how the cow say package works. Now, if I want to check whether this package is installed or not, I can use npm list cow say. If I run this command, then it is showing me empty because in the current folder, I don't have this cow say installed because it is installed globally. So now I'm going to check it whether I have it globally or not. So I'll say npm list cow say hyphen g. So you can see that it shows the path. And of course, now it means that cow say is installed in my system. It is occupying the related space also. And all the related files are now existing in my computer. Every time you have any package update, you are going to install it and every package is going to occupy space also. Now, let me just remove this npm uninstall kause hyphen g. So if there is any kause package globally installed, this is going to remove it. Now, if I just say npm list kause hyphen g, it is uninstalled. Let's try with npx now. So now I'm going to say npx cow say hello. This means I'm not installing the cow say package. Here you can make out that it is installing it, but temporarily the package is not installed. It executes the package and then it uninstalls. To prove it, let me just say npm list cow say hyphen g. If I do this, then it is empty. So the cow say package is not installed. It is just executed. So the difference between NPM and NPX is that NPM will install the package and then you can run it. Whereas NPX directly executes and then uninstalls that package. So the files which are related to that package, like here in create react app, you don't need to download it. It executes it. And if there is any new version, then with the latest version, the NPX will run, will create the React app. So that is the basic difference between NPM and NPX.